Hi. I would like to talk about my favorite character in the Bible, um, Joseph, um, one of the twelve sons of Jacob. Um, it's in the book of Genesis. Um, he he was um, famous for. Um, I mean, rescuing his people and all of Egypt in the known world out, out of um, famine um, by interpreting dreams of the uh, Pharaoh. Uh, he's also famous for the uh, coat of many colors, which his father gave him. Uh, and why why do I like why do I like him? Well. <laughs> I, f I feel this is a character that I can per personally relate to. I mean, well, or at least ad at least admire. I mean, I mean, he, I mean, he's one of the few characters in in the um, well, one of the few main characters in the Bible who, who's mentioned as who, who's mentioned as never having sinned, or, or at least. Um, Having any known sin that was recorded in 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 the uh, scriptures, I mean th that char that character and um, Daniel in, in his own book. I mean these are men of um, what we call excellent spirits. I mean there's no fault in them. Not saying that they are um, that they are J Jesus and that they. Could die for the sins of of um, people of the world. I mean, well, only Jesus could do that. But the but these were men who um, who, who 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 basically um, kept themselves from sin. I mean, Joseph um, feared God greatly to the point where he. Um, he w he wouldn't go again go against God and and sin against him by um, sleeping with um, his master Potiphar's wife when she um, when when she wanted him to sleep with it, sleep with um, her. I mean, I mean he he also um, kept kept himself from. From from sexual immorality, I mean, when um, Potiphar's wife tr tr tried to grab him and force him to sleep with her, um, he he basically r ran out of there, um, fl fleeing naked, leaving behind his garment, and unfortunately, that that gave um, <laughs> that gave Potiphar's wife. Yeah, Evidence to f falsely accuse um, f to falsely accuse Joseph of him raping her, which is um, wh which is what got got him into prison. He also um, interpreted the dreams of uh, well, he also interpreted the dreams of a few people. Um, First, the um, the the cupbearer and the baker who were thrown into prison. Um, they both had dreams one night, and they told their dreams to um, Joseph. And Joseph, with the help of the Lord, um, re re interpreted those dreams. I mean, and as uh, according to interpretation. Interpretation. So it happened. I mean, the cupbearer was restored to his position as cupbearer to the pharaoh, and the baker was hanged on a pole. And um, and he also interpreted dreams of the pharaoh. I mean, he had two dreams. One one night, um, Seven fat cows that were eaten by seven thin cows, and seven, seven um, 
plump stalks of wheat were eaten by seven thin stalks of wheat, and this, this was an interpretation that um, there was going to be seven years of plenty in the land, followed by seven, seven years of um, famine. And um, Joseph became a very important per person at that point, and um, And his, and and his brothers um, <laughs> went. I mean, his brothers got rid of him by sell by selling him to the Ishmaelites um, to um, so to be rid of him. So so his dream of um, his his brothers and his father and his mother bowing down to him would wouldn't come true, but. Unfortunately for them, it did. I mean, they ended up coming to Egypt to buy food for their families and uh, ended up bowing down to Joseph. And of course, they didn't know he he was their brother Joseph because uh, he was um, dressed as an Egyptian. And, um, and I mean, and jo and Joseph t tested them to to make sure that um. Well, make make sure they wouldn't pull the same same crap on his on his full brother um Benjamin. I mean, you basically frame frame Benjamin for um stealing um the silver cup from from his um table. And um, anyway, jo jo Joseph kept kept himself um, honorable throughout the the entire um, story story of his life um, up up until his death and. He's he he's one of my favorite character. He he he's basically my favorite, my most favorite character of the Bible, and uh, I feel like I can relate to him in certain aspects. And that's really all I have to say.